Welcome back to the Now Morning Show. So we just had an incredible universal beauty on set and we are now celebrating incredible beauty that comes from artists right here in Trinidad and Tobago. And one of them on in studio rather with us this morning is none other than Kevin Garcia, who really has been bringing some sunshine and some trini to our morning. Good morning, Kevin. How are you? Good morning. I'm fine. Thank you. It's a pleasure to have you with us on the show this morning. Thank you for having me. Now, your work, as soon as many of us stepped in this morning, we were really drawn to some of these. You know, it's a normal thing. We come in, we take a look at the artwork, but it's so beautiful. And then learning about your story definitely put more power into these paintings. So before we get into the paintings, let's talk about Kevin and how Kevin got into art. Sure. Well, I always had the, the artistic ability, the talent, but it's something that... I really had not explored in my younger in my younger years. Um, so during my childhood, I would find myself drawing. I, I thought that I had a decent enough drawing ability, but um, it was not something that I pursued mm -hmm. academically. So it was only in well into my adult years, in my 40s actually, that I started devoting more time to exploring the talent and the painting. So that is what has brought me here. Well, everything comes at the right time, and clearly that Correct. was the right time. I mean, art is so much more than just something on canvas. It's an emotion, and it's a way of communicating as well. Now, one of the things that we spoke about a little bit briefly um, before we came on set is the fact that you've always incorporated some form of artistic work into your life. So aside from being an artist, you've also worked in interior and exterior. Did you find during that time that you were able to communicate your creativity while also being in corporate? Oh, absolutely. Um, the whole genesis of that foray into interior design actually began when I was employed at one of our commercial banks. Mm -hmm. And for the Christmas season, I had done a wreath mm -hmm. for my office door and um, displayed it. And from there, I just started getting requests for orders and so on. And from there, um, that developed into requests for decorating people's homes, then came requests to decorate the branches of the bank. So um, it all started from that. And further on, people would come, would ask me to do their interiors. Mm -hmm. So it's something that I, that I really started to get involved in pretty heavily, even though I was at the bank. Um, I had that weekend flexibility to, to get involved with it. And apart from doing the interior design, I also um, wanted to do gardens mm -hmm. so landscapes also complemented the interior work that i that i was doing and um i went on to, to establish two small businesses um in that regard now we see landscapes translated onto canvas which we're going to get into in a short moment but before we get to that something that we definitely need to share is the fact that you are self-taught Yes. And looking at this work, one wouldn't think that you are self-taught. I'm just Thank saying, you. right? <laughs> now, was there any pivotal moment in your life that pushed you to say, all right, I'm going to further myself and really, well, train myself to do this? Or was there a time where you thought, you know what, I need to go and, and train? Um, I think it was the, the fact that I always knew that I had the talent, mm -hmm. but I was not using it. Um, and it was something that became very concerning to me because of the number of years that had passed where I had not been involved in art. And when I sat down to try um, expressing myself, yeah. it, it was becoming a little bit more difficult. Mm -hmm. So I suppose it was like when you train a muscle, yeah. if you don't use it, you lose it. So um, the turning point really began about five years ago when I made that concerted effort to really uh, develop the talent. I feel like our conversation can go on for so long, but we are pressed a little bit sure. for time. <laughs> Trinidad and Tobago, just so you know, a lot of advocacy goes on as well with Kevin, so you need to check him out on social media. But let's get into some of your incredible artwork here on set. Now, specifically this one, Evening Drive through El Socorro. Yes. Um, was this a snapshot from memory, or did you take an image and decide to go and work on so it? So this is a snapshot from a friend of mine. Mm -hmm. um, she had posted it to her WhatsApp update and I reached out to her to ask if I could paint it. Mm -hmm. So she sent me the original image and that's where, it, that's how this was born. It's incredible how you bring everything to light. Now you work with charcoal and acrylic, correct? Charcoal and oil. Charcoal and oil, my yes. apologies. 
Well, definitely. I, I love the contrast with, of course, the highway versus the sky. Definitely right. bringing out these beautiful colors that, I mean, yes, we take these images, we put them up on WhatsApp, and you've basically immortalized it. It's absolutely Thank incredible. You. And you've also immortalized something that needs to be immortalized, talking about <laughs> the steel pan. This is Panaji. Yes. On the main stage, what inspired this piece? So Panergy is an amalgamation between pan and energy. Mm -hmm. um, this is a photo I'd seen in the newspaper um, of the Desperados uh, steel band shortly after Carnival. Mm -hmm. And um, it was a departure from my usual style of the landscape or scenery type piece. Um, so I wanted to, to be a little bit simpler in the piece, but still convey the energy on the stage and <clears throat> excuse me and capture um the iconic Xander at the front of the band yeah. and that uh, very distinctive lean that he has when he's um directing his players oh definitely and we can see that you really have brought out that energy again fascinating with the fact that you're using the oil and the charcoal and you're able to bring so many emotions and colors to life now talking about emotions and bringing things to life this next one i would love for you to introduce this next one to us okay so this one is called to its light mm -hmm. um it is a depiction of of someone that's someone and something that's that's very trinbegonian the person at the doubles stand. Mm -hmm. um, so what I wanted to do was be very bold with the color and mm -hmm. with the interpretation. And again, um, having that foray into depicting the human form, I went more for that very distinctive stance that mm -hmm. the person has while at the, at the doubles man. And you really so, and, and you have the classic there in the corner. We all know and love when we go for our doubles. You must have your solo. That's so correct. important. <laughs> and the final piece, another. I mean, I love the fact as well, landscaping, as you said, because this is something that you've loved. But you've really brought something to life here, and in such perfect detail. Let's talk about this piece, the pink pui in season. Right. So, um, I think as as Trinis, we are, we always look forward to the dry season when the puis come into bloom. So this is my own uh, interpretation of that. And what I wanted to do, as I had done with um, Evening Drive through El Socorro, was to really depict a location mm -hmm. that is readily identifiable. So this pui, I hope people can, can identify where it is. It's the one that's located opposite the, the US Embassy. Um, around the Queen's Park Savannah. Definitely, it's absolutely beautiful. And yeah, that's the first thing Thank I you. thought as well, but love the details in the Northern Range as well. Tell me, how long does it take for these, for you to do one of these? Let's say for example, Puyi in season. Uh, Puyi in season took me about six weeks because of the level of detail in it. And um, I wanted it to evolve as we went along, as I went along with yeah. it. So it really does take time um, so it's not a one and done process at all. So I would say it's about, it took about six weeks. Definitely. Now, viewers, on the screen, you're seeing this incredible artwork done by none other than Kevin Garcia. We need to say, of course, thanks to the Art Society for Trinidad and, of Trinidad and Tobago for loaning us these. And thank you to you, of course, for loaning us these as You're well. Welcome. That definitely bring out Trinidad. Now, one of the things I love about your artwork is the fact that we're seeing these daily drives that we all know and probably don't love as much as we should <laughs> going down that highway. But then you're seeing the elements of our culture. You're seeing the iconic doubles and, of course, the iconic Queen's Park Savannah. Tell me something, Kevin. If you had any words of wisdom for those who want to be artists but don't know where to start, where to begin, or maybe you're thinking, well, I just need to stay in corporate. What words of wisdom would you have for them? I would say open yourself to the opportunities that are out there and immerse yourself in that experience. Mm -hmm. um, what I found very helpful to me was uh, attending the different exhibitions that are put on. And even if the body of work that's being exhibited is not what you think mm -hmm. uh, you gravitate towards, still open yourself to that. Uh, you never another artist's interpretation and their technique is going to inspire you. Um, I found that very helpful. And, um, you know, just being out there and interacting with other artists mm -hmm. is also very, very helpful. Artists operate very much like a community and there's always that level of sharing.
All right. Thank you so much for that. Trinidad and Tobago, Kevin Garcia with us this morning on the Now Morning Show. Make sure that you follow him on Instagram at K underscore Alistair so that you can see this incredible work and so much more and be inspired. We have more coming up on the Now Morning Show. Stay tuned. Yeah.